Hey everyone, in this tutorial you're going to learn a bit more about how to use the Vehicle Python tool to create accurate interactive motions with custom vehicles in iClone. As we talked about in the Getting Started tutorial, you'll want to ensure that you've already purchased the applicable motion packs to follow this tutorial, which you can download from the content store. Once you've got them, you can then download the Vehicle Python tool for free. To learn more about how to install it, you can check out the Getting Started tutorial. One thing to be aware of when using custom vehicles is that you follow the naming conventions outlined on the website, which you can see here. Your vehicles need to conform to these rules in order to interact properly with the plugin. Let's start off with this custom car. The first important thing to check is that the pivots for the front doors are located in the proper position, so that when you rotate the doors, they'll rotate properly. As you can see here, these ones are not. In order to fix this, go into the Modify panel with your door selected and modify the pivot position. The preset template will allow you to easily assign it to the appropriate area of the door mesh. Once you've got that taken care of then, you can open up the Vehicle Python tool control panel. For any type of standard car, you can also use the SUV preset here in order to assign the dummies to your vehicle since the doors are relatively the same. You'll notice when you do, that it will just pop into place. However, you'll notice that there is no target vehicle prop found in the control panel. This is because the naming convention is currently incorrect. In order to set the SUV dummy to our vehicle, we first need to ensure that the name starts with the letters SUV. Further into the hierarchy, we also need to ensure that each of the doors is named correctly as well. Use the letters L or R to determine which side of the car the dummies will be assigned to. Once that's done, Click Apply once again in your control panel, and everything will be assigned properly. You can use the E hotkey to enable the rotation gizmo for your dummy, and rotate it to test if it was assigned properly to the door. With a custom vehicle, you will also need to likely adjust the positions of the other dummies that are part of the SUV set. There are dummies for the door handles, the seats, as well as driver hand and foot positions. These dummies are used as reach targets, so that your characters will be positioned properly once inside the vehicle. Other vehicles will have a variety of different dummies as you can see here. Once you've tweaked the position of all the dummies to your liking, you can then save it as a custom preset, so that you won't need to reposition the dummies every time if you use the vehicle again in the future. Okay, let's bring in our character, and with it selected, apply the Calm Get In motion. As a quick note, you'll also want to be aware that some motions are more appropriate for male characters, while others are meant for female characters. Let's take a quick look at how to adjust the motions next, since some may not completely match a custom vehicle shape. In this case, you can see that the position of the character in the car doesn't really match the interior. You can often resolve this with a single click by enabling the Reach Contact checkbox. What this will do is make sure that your character's hands and feet reach their respective dummies in the vehicle. In this case, the red and purple ones. However, this may not always be the perfect solution, and further adjustments may be required in cases where the body parts reach the respective dummies too quickly or too slowly. In this case, you can see that the hip is breaking through the mesh of the seat. To solve this, what you'll want to do is open up the reach track in the timeline. There, you'll find independent reach tracks for all of the character body parts, and you can see the specific time each of the body parts has reach enabled. What I'm doing here is bringing the keyframe for hip reach in earlier, so that the hip will go forward sooner in the motion. By tweaking this, we can avoid the issue with the hip breaking through the seat mesh. You can also modify the dummy position manually to affect the position of the character's hands. In this case, they're slightly off, but if we move the dummies manually, then we can ensure that the hand position is correct. In this next case, you can see that the hand is poking through the mesh of the door. If you have reach contact enabled, then you can simply adjust the position of the door handle dummy further into the interior of the vehicle to fix it like we just did with the hand position on the wheels. However, you can also use the Edit Motion Layer tool to manually tweak the position of the hand at different points in the timeline. Make the adjustments at the frame where the error is most prominent, and then go back to the original position at the end, and hit the Reset button, which will revert the motion back to the original position at that specific frame. It should blend nicely and resolve the issue like you see here. 
You can use the Vehicle Python tool for all of your custom vehicles to make interactive motions with vehicles a breeze. Reillusion also provides a whole library of interactive vehicle motions that you can purchase on the content store in order to speed up and simplify your workflow. That's about it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com for the latest product and content updates. I'll see you in the next video.